Okay, my dears, here we can see that the regeneration of both nerves showing automatically from the previous nerve module. I'll quickly show you how to use it. Starting with the implant placement, we utilize the loading to model function, which now includes the EC implant loader function and load into panorama displaying the HL view with an excellent zoom like this one. If we do not select any of them, we will be shown this image. Subsequently, we can see right beneath the implant instrument anchor pin, which you can choose between the type of case we want to work with. In the explanation, we're selecting the implant because it's a single implant case. Here we can choose every crown or implant by pressing the select all function just like this, and then use the unlock and lock function icon to secure our planning or making it easier. And lastly, in this left corner, right beneath, we have the alignment, import, and export control features. For that being said, let's begin placing our implant efficiently. As you can see, I have no implants. So for showing this, let's access the loading to model function that I mentioned previously and add the implant by pressing the crown and then right-clicking the Waxup crown in this rendering section just like this. Here's our implant and then we're gonna select apply. However, before proceeding, let me explain the export function. Here we can select and choose between scan body, report, and mobile pack. The scan body displays this context menu with these options for different types of abutments, fixture, abutment level, and stock abutments. Next, let's use our control keys A, D, W, S, and Q, E, as you know, to move our implant. Following the crown location and moving towards the antagonist crown for optimal placement. In this example, let's change the default implant to a cutting-edge technology implant named BD Cuff or Blue Diamond Cuff. It is used for ridges just like this one with some bone defect. This implant is for these kind of situations. Let's access library menu and then implant. Then, once we enter here, let's scroll down and search for the right BD implant. Choose between regular implant or an implant with deep threads. Let's select the deep threaded implant so we can have a very nice bone implant contact scenario. Then let's hit apply. Let me tell you something new from this new version as well. We can select the implant length diameter right here in this cross-sectional view. by clicking and select the Y dot from the implant length and the X dot from the implant diameter like this. Amazing, isn't it? Furthermore, regarding this cutoff edge technology implant, the cuff area is going to be in, the, in an intimate relationship with the soft tissue height. In this case, let's choose a four millimeter of cuff height for the defect area. We can use our measuring device located in the lower left corner by simply pressing it. We can also erase with this erase icon. Yes, just like this. So, we're done. Let's jump into R2A module.